Back to the surge. A um, couple of things we want to check out here. Come back anytime. There's that. Looks like a boss. It could just be a bigger enemy too. Um, over to the right, an area that we haven't quite seen yet. Whoops. And then uh, I think we need to go back to where we beat that Pax boss. There's that lift there, and I think that's our way out. We've been to another place that had a similar lift, uh, but I'm pretty sure that I may have missed going up that area. Okay, look at this thing. So, multiple targeting points. I'm not sure what it's doing exactly. We're not getting any damage to it there. Okay. Probably want to... It's like little bits of damage. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. We are we are damaging it. Oh boy. Okay, in that little looks like frost almost. We're not regenerating any stamina. Okay, the legs are obviously not the point to be hitting. This thing, I think, we want to hit this little power core. Whoa. Oh boy, that was uncomfortable. He's in this weird zone, like it's hard to work around him. Whoa! We got him. Okay, not a boss, just a big, big, big. Machine. Construction worker of sorts. Shining coin. Now, what does that do for us? That's new. This metal is heavy and prominent image of iron moss has been engraved on both sides. This can't just be a remnant of the past. Huh. Okay. We should also be going into um, using a bunch of these as well. Gives us a bunch of scrap for extra levels and things. I wonder what that coin is actually for. Not sure, but let's go back to the PAX area now, because it seems as if... It makes sense that we would have something protecting our way out. And a few people were commenting saying that there was a lift there. We're too strong for our own good now. It's not necessarily a problem. So the packs died over here, and there was this lift. I thought we had taken this lift at some point, but... Yeah, no, I guess... There was that other lift where we... We came up, and then we got attacked by something on the right. Uh, there were two enemies that were behind some boxes, but yeah, we definitely want to take this train, right? After the recent events and the continuing threat to Creo security, 
We are asking all employees to remain vigilant. Please, if you see or hear anything suspicious, report it immediately to your supervisor. Protect yourself, your job, your family. Terrorism is everyone's problem. Terrorism is everyone's problem. Great. Next stop, Central Production B. Personnel arrival. Oh, nice. Okay, advanced combat. You get a bonus chance for... I couldn't even... Couldn't even. Central Production B. I just had the incredible honor of meeting Jonah Gutenberg, founder of Creo. That was an amazing experience. I mean, you already know that Creo is not just another company. Our founder, Jonah Gutenberg, has a vision. A vision of a better world. We've all seen what has happened during our lifetime. This is not the future we were promised. Jonah saw the world deteriorate before his eyes. It's not just a social economic problem, divide between the haves and the have-nots. No, it was bigger. Crops were failing, sea levels rising, droughts, floods, storms. Our world was dying. Project Resolve was designed not as a band-aid, but as a cure. With every launch, the integrity of our atmosphere is being strengthened. With every rocket's payload, our world is being reseeded for future generations. Jonah used his considerable influence to bring together world leaders and corporations to create the Kyoto Accord. No longer could the environmental changes be ignored. Many even deemed it too late. But Jonah had an idea, and using his company's extensive resources, he'd already prototyped what would become Project Resolve. This guy's a good salesperson. And that's why you're here. To make a difference. That's why Creo's here. That's why we're all here. To make a dream reality. Not just for us, but for our children. And for our children's children. It's, uh, it's interesting because you see a lot of the graffiti that's like, we don't need resolve. Believe it or not. But I just had the and like, the way that this guy talks, Jonah like, Gutenberg. I just met Founder Jonah Creo. Gutenberg. But he's clearly like a, experience. he's I mean, a salesman. He's here to sell. Drone registration? Oh, hello. Connection failure. Rerouting. Manual link established. Companion Welcome drone. to main production. Worker number. Database error. <laughs> Let me show you around. I think he's still got a few bugs to work out. I help you? Let me show you around. Okay. Around. <laughs> you got a screw loose, huh? Seems you've got a screw loose somewhere. Thanks for your concern. Error. No loose screws found. Oh, good. Good. Uh, where is everybody? Right. So, where is everybody? Unable to initiate link to CreoNet. No data available. Fabulous. Then where's operations? Information unavailable. Wow, you are the best companion drone to get to ever. Work. Let me show you the way. Terms of use and license agreement. How may I be of service? Uh, provided by Creo. I'd like to help. I'd like to help. Oh, cool. He can I'd do like. like to... Please hold the line. <laughs> Okay, you can use your companion drone to perform unique combat actions. Look for new drone modules to expand its arsenal. Okay, so obviously we want to go here. Your drone fires an energized projectile at the enemy, dealing light damage, but can still be used without energy, but deals very little damage. Okay. Just want to see what's going on over here. Oh, no, we've, we've heard your pitch. We've all seen what has happened during our life. Nope, not getting through there. Okay. Not just so, so not only can be used in combat, but it looks like he has some type of repair ability. Okay, so it looks like why we can bring him out, but we need to build up energy first to use him. Got it. it says we can use it without energy, but it does less damage, so... Getting that energy meter 
higher, getting our ability to store energy and accumulate energy faster is going to be important. We, nearly, we really need to smash out more power core levels, I think, so that we can put in all these cool implants. Personnel arrival. Ops is to the right. Your companion drone becomes more useful over time. Look out for new drone modules to teach it new tricks. Okay. I don't suppose we can... Uh... Yeah, no. Can't destroy quite everything. Is this our boy here? Press Y while facing an enemy to attack it with your drone. Oh, wow. Even on low energy, it just one-shot that thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love how sometimes we walk up on these guys and they're literally just banging their heads against the wall. Okay, if I drop down there, there there's not a way up that I can see. Let me just see where this takes us first. Welcome. This unit is currently running on emergency power. Services are limited at the moment. We apologize for any incon- Welcome. Due okay. to a power outage, we are unable to provide full service at this time. Oh, we've got, the, we've got a ladder there, so... Should be fine. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, it's like one damage, so literally nothing. Now let's see what he does. Oh yeah. Then he becomes like a legit little drone. Little Mavic Pro. That's exactly what's going on there. Wait. Oh, that ladder is a... That's a falsity. That's not a ladder. <laughs> not a big deal though. We can't apparently just walk out of here. Welcome. Due to a power outage, we are unable to provide full service at this time. Whoa. Is this through to the same place? No. Hello. Please note that emergency power is insufficient for more than basic services. Fantastic. We're kind of used to this. Please remember, safety at work is our highest priority and should be yours. Gear assembly offline. Let's hit the med bay then. So this is our new, our new ops. I like it. Let's bank the rest of this. Uh, we have an extra implant slot now, but we don't really have the, um, we don't have the power usage. So this increases the amount of energy gained through successful attacks. Then we have the kind of self-sustain. We have the two insta-heals, which... I might be able to get away with not having right now. Health gauges is important. Energy cost of finishing moves. Slows energy decay. Maybe maximum energy. And it's zero core cost, so that brings our cost down, which means we can put a more expensive one in here. Can we sort these? Sort by newest, mark, value. Okay. Let's go newest here. Um, oh, I think maybe it's the opposite. Sort by mark. Yeah, see, these are like V3s. I think this is probably be worth it. Maximum health, scales with core power, version 3. Yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Connection failure. Alright, so, everything is offline. That's fantastic news. Take care. Yeah, thank you. Uh oh. Material Depot. We had seen that exact machine flying overhead in, uh, in that first area. 
Whoa! Jeez. Thank you. We got it. The Endus RS3 Titan. Now, uh, some people had noted that because of the, the gear that we switched around, we're actually doing less overall damage. Um, and that's, that's fair. Uh, let's sort these by newest. It's weird. If it's sorted by newest, like, this is clearly not... <laughs> this doesn't make any sense, because we just picked this one up. Sort of by mark. Uh, sort by damage. 52. The Titan. So very low proficiency scaling. Very high impact. Energy gain plus 80%. So we constantly are building energy. But look at the look at the difference in our overall damage. It's it's pretty uh it is pretty significant for sure. Um if I take the body gear out, takes us down to 33, and we go into the arm gear. Okay, that actually didn't change much. I don't think it changed anything. I'm pretty sure it was something in here that people said were ch was changing uh, damage. I guess it's the impact, right? But either way, this is fine. For now. Well, that's helpful. Sector online. Now, would that bring our other area? Would that bring the stuff over here online? Welcome, Warren. Yep. Beautiful. Hello? Anyone there? Are you receiving? I am. She said I should get to the executive level, that it's safe there. Security forces have it locked down, but it's the getting there that's the problem. Executive level will soon be under control, and they've asked for external aid. It, it tells you how serious things have gotten if they've called for outside help. But you know what? It's fine. If they've got everything under control, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for them. No. It's terrifying enough listening to the noises, let alone being out there. I'm safe here. You're not, though. <laughs> All right, so this gives us some of the recycled parts. Um, let's just bank our scrap for now. Warren, I was starting to worry. I'm glad you're okay. Who are you? Yeah, exactly. Will you finally tell me who you are? Sally. I'm Sally, medical okay. staff assigned to the executive forum. I'm isolated up here. Stuck, to be exact. Just trying my best to figure out how I can help. What the hell's going on here? There was some kind of incident, that's all I know. Hardly anything is working and your area is in lockdown. I'm trapped up in the executive forum. There's loads of distress beacons, but you're the only person I've managed to contact. We have to do something. Okay, so what do we, like, what can I do? Fine. I gotta get up there, obviously. I hope this qualifies for hazard pay. Okay then. We need to find out what happened. And we won't if we just stay here. We're in this together. And like it or not, we're on our own. At least for the time being. You tried calling for help? The system's locked down. There's no way I know to contact anybody outside. And it seems most comms are out apart from the ops. Okay, well. I better get going. I'll figure it out. There. Thanks for your help. Happy to help. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! <laughs> okay. This weapon, the wind-up is uh, quite a bit more, let's say, significant than our previous one. I thought we could just run in look there, no problem. For your fellow workers. They look out for you. Look at how slow it is! I'll take 
that. Thank you. Wrecked Rhino Arm Gear. That'll work. Uh, I will say that this weapon is way too slow for right now. Plus, our overall damage output is not where it should be or could be. Okay, so there's no power here. Yet. We can go up this way. Or, we can find whatever this is. Aggression Amplifier. Version 1. This is probably something to do with... Sort of by newest. Okay, so newest, I guess, puts this at the bottom. Restores health from performing finishing moves. We already have it. Don't believe it. Whoa. Hey, you. We got a live guy here. here. Please, my rig's out of juice. I'm a fucking statue here. Can't move a thing. Can you power it up and jumpstart me? Report of the last known fa failures detected. Yeah, let's check this first. See if this tells us anything about him. Failsafe protocol active. Log, mark 96 hours, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. Automatic system-wide reboot begun. Data loss analysis. Most Creo systems damaged. 27% of data storage and processing systems report complete data and record loss, with low chance of recovery. Local non-networked power supplies remain operational. Recovery protocols activated. Damaged data sectors attempting temporary repair using analogous systems. Collateral loss of workforce is rated as extreme. <laughs> Overall I'd say work so. output efficiency remains severely impaired, with all functioning personnel-related systems reporting significant neurological deviation and physical degradation. Functioning implants and rigs should be collected for refurbishment and redistribution to fully functioning human assets. Please, man, I'm trapped. Okay, Hobbs. Okay. If you turn on me... Hey, buddy! I hope you're gonna help me. Oh damn! Thank you. Been you're sitting welcome. here so long, my ass is numb. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Here we go. You can't count how many times I've had to play dead out here. Nearly pissed my pants a couple of times. I'm Hobbs, Dean Hobbs. No, no one calls me Dean, so you know. Hobbs is fine. I guess we got that right the first time. Do you know what's going on here? Guess you've got no idea what's going on around here. Shit, man. I don't know nothing. Felt like my brain was an egg on a griddle and then the yolk popped. Woke up. Head ringing like crazy. Everything had just gone to hell. Wanted to check the failsafe consoles. See what they recorded. And got separated from my crew, but I thought, Hobbs, don't give up now. You can make it. And that's when my rig gave out. So, what brought you here? What are you doing down here? Well, just being me. I mean, I'm maintenance. I sh should have left this stuff to security. But I thought, hey, Hobbs, let's find out what's going on here. <laughs> like I would talk stupid, to himself man, like that. Just stupid. What I've seen since then. Uh, man, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, I might. What's the deal with these failsafe consoles? Well, Creo's got a few around the factory to monitor problems and record them. There's sure to be some crazy stuff on them with all that's going down. And check them out if you want, but my adventuring days are done. So what are you doing now? What's your plan? I'm gonna get my ass out of here before it gets mashed like a bug in a windshield. I think I'll head up to Ops. We should be all right there. Okay, so he's gonna... So why would he ops. be in Ops? Stay safe, man. Stay safe. I wonder if we can, like... Hey, man! Thanks again. You totally saved my ass back there. I wonder if we can recruit so him or something. Hops. Stay safe, man. Stay safe. Thank you. We need all the parts we can get here. So we'll definitely check for him back at Ops. Bayer hub. Whoa! 
So it's interesting how, okay, the enemies that we were running into previously, we used to be able to stagger them like pretty easily. That's not the case now, so we're gonna have to adapt. Now is... Yeah, he's here. We made it, buddy. Good to see you. And don't think I forgot I owe you. Found this. Whoa. Here, take it. Hello. Might help. Tons Any of supplies. Here? Nah, it was right around the corner and I kept my head down. Worst has got to be over now. Hmm. Take care, Hobbs. I bet I will. Don't do nothing I wouldn't. I wonder what his... Look what out he for your does. fellow workers. They look out for you. Jeez. Yeah, like we, um, we cannot just go in there anymore. We gotta be a little bit more cautious. Okay, so we had come down here. Let's actually go back here and grab a little bit of scrap. There we go. Quick! Whoa, this guy's fast. Man! They still get like a bunch of attacks in there. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this way differently now. Scary. How much time has passed? Minutes? Hours? Days? This place is falling apart. I'm falling apart. I was told it wouldn't hurt. That the whole thing would be over in just a couple of minutes. It's a pain when it started. I was awake. It caught up in my flesh. Pierced into my bones. I can still hear the machine. Feel them. And I screamed. Just screamed. So there was no way Jeez. left in my lungs. But it didn't stop. It didn't stop. I kind of didn't catch everything that she was saying there, because we almost died. Is he, like... I can't tell if he's strapped into some machine, but it looks like it might be a projectile. So let's be cool. Reinforced pipe? I don't think so, Tim. Help. Please. Whoa! I will help you, don't worry. use that to heal, for sure. For sure, I should have. I'm locked in here. Okay, so there's like multiple people still Please, around. Come on, help me. I'm coming, dude. Thanks, man. I thought I was stuck in here for good. You almost were. Come on. Say something. 
You okay in there? <laughs> I appreciate it, really. Thought I was gonna starve in here. Don't know how much longer I would have lasted. Who are you exactly? So tell me, what's your story? Name's Davy, man. I work on the shell production line. Ran in here when those freaks started showing up. Didn't realize for hours the door was busted and I was stuck. Don't even know how long I've been in here. You know what's going on around here? You mean all this crap? No idea, man. Way above my pay grade. Something hit the system hard, that's for sure. Melted my damn neural link. It was like I was tripping in, in someone else's head. Thoughts, memories, just not my own. Some weird shit going down. That's, that's all I know. So, what are you gonna do now? Don't know, man. Probably Not head to ops. Out here, that's for damn sure. Maybe ops. Should be safe, right? Yep. So long. Later. Okay, so the last guy we saved, he ended up giving us a bunch of uh, scrap parts at ops. Oh, wait, do we not have a way back up there? This is not good. Oh, maybe. Oh, he got us! Are you kidding? That looks like a way back up, though. Okay. So these guys, even though that weapon might not be amazing in our hands, pretty amazing in theirs, I will say. Now let's see. I'm so glad to see you, man. I ain't feeling right. Not right at all. I, I need my meds bad. It's been hours, man. I can't make it without them. What medicine do you need? What meds do you need? It's an implant. Call Medaxinol. I will die without it, man. Last time I went out, well, you know what happened. Seriously, I, I'm in bad shape. I could probably find it. I'll try to find it for you. You don't know how much I'd appreciate that. Seriously, thanks. I know it's asking a lot. I mean, who wants to go out there, right? But please, I don't want to get sick. How are you and Hobbs getting along? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> he didn't want to help me. Totally wrapped up in himself. I mean, if it was him who needed his meds, I mean, it's not like I'm being overdramatic here, you know? Okay, Davey. Have to go. Hey, don't forget about me, okay? I'm counting on you here. I gotcha. Don't forget your help out there. You saved my ass. You met Davy? Oh yeah. Can't say oh, I cared yeah. for him much. Canadian. He wanted me to fetch him his meds. Oh yeah. Of course eh? I said no. Man, was he pissed. He's crazier than I thought if he thinks I'm going out there again. <laughs> I love how you both expect me to go Take out care. there though. Alright. Guess you're in a hurry. Okay. Take uh, care. Tell you what, let's take a break here. When we come back, uh, we'll head out back down there. We're going to be a lot more cautious. Um, and I think we might switch some of our implants back. Like, maybe instead of this maximum health, um, let's go back to the injections so we have two of those. Just because we don't know what we're running into, and having that immediate health save could be pretty nice. So, yeah, we'll take a break, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.